What is up YouTube, XCX Solutions here and today I am bringing you another video and this is on how to mine Ethereum. Now Ethereum is a new cryptocurrency so if you don't know a lot about this you can do some research. I will leave some links in the description below so you can basically understand what this is, how it works and everything you need to know. So Ethereum as I said is a new cryptocurrency so you've probably heard of Bitcoin Litecoin and maybe some other different cryptocurrencies but this cryptocurrency is relatively new and is very very big right now in the mining world this is going absolutely nuts people are going nuts over GPUs in America and worldwide they're buying as many GPUs as they can so they can utilize this program and mine Ethereum now if we go over to this website here this is called Ethereum price to all but this basically calculates how much one Ether is and as you can see it is dropped uh, overnight by 7% but it's fluctuating so if we go down here you can see that it was 395 US dollars on June 13th last month. So it's going up and down, but right now it's pretty high. It's at 279 USD. So one Ethereum equals $279, which is very, very good indeed. So how it works, you basically get a blockchain interface. So you get your own wallet, uh, uh, Ethereum wallet. And then what happens is you use a program that utilizes your GPU. So if you have more than one GPU, you can use SLI bridge and you can mine more Ethereum per hour so in my system I am using the system that I use daily you know that I play games on that I record videos on you can do this if you have a decent rig and a decent graphics card and what happens is you can use it overnight so if you leave your computer on you can be mining Ephraim and when you wake up you may have earned about 40 cents but you know it all adds up if you leave your computer on for hours and hours on end or if you have a separate rig you can actually set this up on that have a decent GPU and just leave it on 24 7 but there are obviously concerns in power consumption and you know you have to pay your electricity bill and everyone's talking like that so enough rambling hopefully you understand so basically use a program that utilizes your GPU then mines Ethereum and then you get money for that and you have a wallet that can exchange into US dollars or whatever currency you want so I'm going to show you step by step on how to set this up so what you're going to need is a cryptocurrency wallet I am using Jax this is very popular for Windows if you are on a different operating system then I will leave some different blockchain interfaces below but this is compatible with Windows, Linux and some other operating systems as you can see here. So all we want to do is go ahead and download this. I'm going to download the 64 zip version. I'm going to save this to my desktop and this is going to be where the money gets stored. So this is essentially our wallet. So what I'm going to do now is extract this and I'm now going to open this and open the folder, go into Jax assets and open Jax.exe. Now this should open up like so, Jax, your blockchain interface. Now, as you can see, I already have a current Ethereum address, but all you would do is click continue and create a new Ethereum address, hit the express install and it should give you a new generated address. So as you can see, this is my address here. You can actually send uh, Ethereum and other currencies to this if you like. But other than that, you have a nice little wallet interface. As you can see, there's nothing here yet because I've only just started this Ethereum address. Um, you can also scan your QR code on your phone to download the app and backup wallets and stuff like that. Here is your transaction history and also in this wallet, you can also go into wallets and add different cryptocurrencies if you want. But because I'm mining Ethereum only right now, I'm going to select this. But if you are mining some other stuff like ETC or Zek or Zcash or Bitcoin, you can also select that. Go up here and switch instantaneously between the different cryptocurrencies. So now that you have your Bitcoin address, all you're going to want to do is go ahead and copy it by clicking on this little button here. This will copy to the clipboard. We can save that for later and we can exit our Bitcoin wallet. All the links will be in the description below. So everything I'm using here will be linked below the video. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to nanopool.org and we're going to select on quick start under Ethereum. As you can see, it says how to connect Ethereum mining pool. All we're going to want to do here is download Claymore Dual Miner and you can save it to your desired location I'm just going to save it to the desktop and we're also going to generate a new config here so click this and now what you're going to want to do is select your operating system for me I am using Windows my GPU is a AMD if you have an Nvidia graphics card then obviously select Nvidia and you can call this whatever you want I'm just going to call this a YouTube for this purpose select the main server so whichever is closest to you if you're close
closest to Asia, then obviously click that. If you're in the US, then click one of those. I'm going to click Europe one because I'm from London. First algorithm, you want to select Ethereum. Now this is where you're going to paste your Ethereum address. So as you can see, there is mine like so. Second algorithm, we're going to select none as we're only mining uh, Ethereum. And then we're gonna go ahead and click on generate. Save it to the desktop or wherever you like. And we can go ahead and minimize that. Now what we're going to do is extract both of these files. And now we're going to open the Claymore Ethereum folder. And as you can see, there are a lot of files in here. Open up the config folder and copy and paste inside of the main Claymore folder and hit replace if there are any existing files in there so we can overwrite them. Now, all we want to do from here is pretty simple. Every time you want to run the miner, all you want to do is double click on start.bat. This will go and open a command prompt window. As you can see, it will detect your GPU. I am using the AMD RX 480. This will work with whichever Nvidia AMD GPU that you own or have in your system obviously the better the gpu the higher the mega hash rate so in a second you'll see which mega hash i get and we can calculate how much we're earning per hour so it will take a little while to uh, generate and utilize your gpu so just be patient on this part and it should start in just a moment another thing to note your windows defender if you're using windows 10 or any other antivirus on your system may block the claymore folder so just make an exception on your rules and just basically say not to remove it. It is not a virus or Trojan or anything like that. It just detects as it has a lot of security and obfuscation behind it. So make sure just to filter out or add an exception for the Claymore folder because the last thing you want is it to be deleted whilst you're mining. So there you have it guys. I'm getting around 23 mega hash per second, which is pretty decent. Um, you can also overclock your graphics card if you're willing to go to the extent to actually get a higher mega hash per second. Obviously, if you're using more than one GPU, your mega hash per second will be totaled to a bit higher possibly 40s which will allow you to earn more each hour or each month or however you want to work it out but we're getting around 23 mega hash per second on my rx 480 with the stock overclock so that's pretty decent not too bad indeed and this will basically just run until you close it so what it's doing right now is it's mining you don't have to do anything else here you just leave this on you can see the time that it last did the uh, share and if we go over to the nano pool calculator and if we go over to crypto compare we can actually work out so we're getting around 23 mega hashes a second you have to work out your power consumption i'm not entirely sure what mine is yet because i haven't worked it out and i'm just going to put my electricity bill at zero just to get a rough idea so if you don't pay for your electricity bill you can see if i put this at zero i'm earning about three dollars and nine cents per day so each 24 hours of this running on my system i'm earning roughly three dollars and nine cents a day which equals to about 0.01 ethereum so that's pretty good indeed it earns about 21 dollars and 64 cents a week 92 dollars and 76 a month and then 1128 dollars per year so as you can see it's pretty decent indeed now obviously the ethereum currency is going to fluctuate so i will leave a link in the description below where you can see the price in real time there so if you do pay for your electricity bill then you can obviously work this out here and the power consumption as well and you can work out if you're actually losing money or if you're actually earning profit out of this and this will definitely come to of use for some people out there so last but not least i'm going to leave a description for easyh.nanopool.org now this is where you're going to go to check all of the statistics out so if you go ahead i'm, I'm just going to paste my ethereum address here and click on search and you can see a chart of where i've currently used it the current calculated hash rate the average hash rate for the last six hours the balance balance on how much Ethereum you have, etc, etc. Now there are a lot of detailed statistics here. As you can see, it shows you per hour, how much you're earning, your hash rate, etc, etc. So this may take a while to actually apply in their database. You probably have to leave this for a couple of hours so you can actually search for your Ethereum address. I tried searching straight away and it wasn't on their system. So leave this for a good couple of hours and then go here and you should be able to find your Ethereum account. So that's
that is pretty much it guys a very simple and easy way on how to mine ethereum now i don't know the ins and outs of mining and you know the advanced stuff behind it now you can obviously do a lot of research and you may even know a lot more than i do about this but i do know that you can earn a little bit of cash from this and i thought i'd share with you guys so as you can see there is no ethereum in my wallet right now or your wallet if you have just started but leave this for a good couple of days and this should start changing and this will actually do the exchange for you so you can actually see how much you're earning in us dollars as well so if you do need any help be sure to comment below all the links will be in the description below to everything that i have listed here that is pretty much it guys comment rate subscribe all the good stuff and i'll see you guys in the next one peace